has decided to focus in on a few companies that offer phenomenal returns. Well, the, fact, the facts are here. Private equity it has invested across the board, across all size companies, and you can see that roughly 70% by volume of investments have gone into companies with less than $125 million, between $2 million and $125 million in revenue, uh, which represents roughly 50% of the value of that $103 billion that we spoke about earlier. So it's a very sizable investment that's actually gone into relatively small companies. Now, what are the impact of this spin? What are the impact of this spin? We compared, we compared, uh, we, again, we compared private equity backed companies to non private equity backed companies of similar size, sector by sector. And what we found consistently in every vintage of every investment period is that private equity backed companies grew revenues faster and grew earnings faster. So, the good news is, despite the somewhat muted discussion we've been having on returns and lack of exits, the fact is that these companies are growing faster, they are delivering higher returns at least to the bottom line of those companies. As a result of this, and this is somewhat noteworthy, you, you can see that the employment rate of private equity backed firms versus non-private equity backed companies is actually much higher. So you can see that the employment, this is indexed at the year of investment. So think of T as the, T is the year of investment. T plus one is one year after investment, T plus two is two years after investment, and so forth. And you can compare companies in that time of the same size, in that same period of time, how they grew employment versus <coughs> private equity backed firms. And you can see here private equity backed firms on average grew employment just under 9% per year versus other companies of similar size having grown it just, uh, just, uh, just under 3% a year. So again, a force multiplier to employment, which then shouldn't surprise you that private equity backed entities also contributed a disproportionate share of taxes. This was, uh, now, clearly with higher earnings are going to come higher taxes. I think another factor that's been playing into this has been higher compliance, better governance, and a variety of factors that have actually allowed for, now in this particular analysis, I should say, we looked specifically at companies that were 100, under 750 crores of revenue. And you may ask why. Well, as, as the Secretary knows, as many know, the greatest tax gap in the country is frankly from SME companies. 